can't spell success without you. Pal Plan Project presents Back in the Kitchen Courgette Spaghetti, healthy, low in carbs, and only 30 calories per serving. So hello there, and welcome to Back in the Kitchen. And today we want to talk about the good old bottom of the fridge drawer. Yep, we've got lots of fruit and veg in there, and sometimes it just simply goes to waste, which is a bit of a shame. So what we want to do today is have a look at the car jet, and we want to see if we can convert this into nice, healthy, low-calorie, low-carb spaghetti that we can use for our main dishes. It's going to be quick, it's going to be simple, and it's going to be far more healthy than eating traditional spaghetti. So what we're going to do is take the courgettes out of the fridge and give them a quick wash under the cold water tap. Once that's been done, just simply chop the ends off so we can spiralise them. And obviously the trick to doing this is try and get a nice straight cut so that way it goes into the spiralizer. If you saw my spiralised video, then you realise if it's not straight, then actually to spiralise these things can be an absolute pain. So once spiralised, we can weigh the car jet and we can see we've got around 146 grams. Now these did start over 320 grams. So obviously we're losing the ends and we do lose a little bit while we go through the spiral process. But however, we are going to use these car jets. So what we need to do now is turn the hob on maximum heat, put a pan on the hob and fill it with water, ideally from a boiling kettle. That way he just makes the cooking process a little bit quicker. Add the car jets and give them liquid stir with a fork. This is just to separate them out a little bit. And add a pinch of salt so that the car jet will tenderise during the boiling process. So what we need to do is just leave it on the hob and leave it boiling for 5 minutes. After the 5 minutes use the fork just to ensure that the car jet is tender and it actually looks like your spaghetti. At this point turn off the heat and let it stand for 1 minute just to cool down. Once cooled, you can drain the excess water using a colander, or in this case, I've got a pan with a drain feature, which is far easier to get rid of the excess water, especially if you're worried about burning yourself. So once the water has been drained, put it on a plate and just separate it with a fork and then it's ready to eat. I'll just add it to your favorite recipe. So it really is that simple and that quick to produce a spaghetti made from courgette. But the question is, as always, is it really worth it? We can log on to the We Can't Spell Success Without You website by simply googling nadiet.info, click on We Can't Spell Success Without You link, click on the Downloads tab, and then go to Brand vs. Brand. Then if we go to Common Foods, we can see Spaghetti. And what we can see there, the Waitrose Lagini style Spaghetti, which comes in at 143.3 calories. 0.2 in saturated fat and 28.1 in carbs, which actually cost £1.50. Now, this is based on 70 grams uncooked, which will actually go to around 168 grams once it's cooked. So, what we find there is that it's quite high in calories and it's actually quite high in carbohydrates. But what we can do if we go to the top, we can see the Tesco Organic Spaghetti, which has 95.3 calories. 0.1 in saturated fat and 19.8 grams in carbohydrate and that's a pound so not only are we saving 50p between these two products but also we're reducing the calories by a third and equally we're having a lot less carbohydrate and even 50% less fat this is obviously the one that we want to beat so if we'll have a look at what we've just made so we use 146 grams of courgette we're more or less around the same amount that you would actually use if you're using normal spaghetti, it's 75 grams which has been boiled. And the calories come in at 30.6 with a saturated fat of 0 0.1, but the carbohydrates is 2.92. Now, this amount would actually serve one, but once again, far lower in calories, it's around the same, you know, a good product of saturated fat at 0 0.1. But it also means extremely low, so it's fantastic for people with cholesterol or heart issues. But the massive benefit is the carbohydrate being 2.9 per serving. And it actually costs 36 pence to make. 
If we're not making our own food, chances are we're in the supermarket, we're going to look for a ready-made meal for one. So we've got one here, which is Asda's Italian Spaghetti Meatballs, costing £1.50. And the calories are 400, saturated fats 4, and the carbohydrates is 56. So even if we make spaghetti and meatballs at home, the number of calories is going to be 363, with saturated fat at 3.7 and carbohydrates at 31.1 and that's going to cost us £1.31 so what we're doing there is saving around 19 pence on the dish we're actually saving about 80 calories which is better for us if we actually want to lose weight uh, the saturated fat's about the same at 3.7 but the carbohydrates being reduced from 56 to 31 which once again if you've got diabetes type 2 or other sugar issues, that is a massive reduction. So we take that one step further and we use our cars yet spaghetti. This actually reduces it down to 257 calories, 3.7 in saturated fat, and 9.2 in carbohydrate for the entire dish. So once again, the saturated fat's low in all of these versions. The calories from using the cars yet spaghetti is reduced now. 257 compared to the supermarket version at 440 which is a huge massive saving and don't forget this means that you still having spaghetti and meatballs okay in this example we call jet spaghetti but look at them calories that you're saving imagine exercise that you'd have to do to burn all that additional calorie off and in effect you're actually eating the same meal equally with the carbohydrates i mean we've gone from 56 carbohydrates in the supermarket version to 9.2 even looking at the old made version at 31.1 the simple switch of using courgettes as spaghetti has now reduced it down to 9.2 that is fantastic for anybody who wants to lose weight that is fantastic for anybody with diabetes type 2 and they want to control their sugar levels and as a final final bonus with courgettes we find that courgettes contain very low calories, but they are very high in water. The reason why they cook in five minutes and they're well cooked within the five minutes. So courgettes do become the dieter's friend, also the diabetes type 2 sufferer's friend. They provide useful amounts of immune boosting vitamin C, which at this moment in time with COVID hanging around, we need as much vitamin C and D as what we can get. And it also has significant levels of potassium which is key to controlling blood pressure and that's just basically because you've had the car jet instead of the traditional pasta so once again save a car jet make it into a spaghetti just recycle it have all the benefits from the car jet in that form which means that you can still have your spaghetti and meatballs it's spaghetti and meatballs with a twist because the car jets the spaghetti but it is good, it is nice, you're still having the same meal. You're reducing, especially if you're buying it from a supermarket, you're reducing calories, saturated fat, but most of all, huge amounts of carbohydrates. Give it a go. Let us know what you think. We've got the comments at the bottom. It'd be interesting if you try it, see if you like it. Interestingly enough, car jets doesn't really taste of much but neither does spaghetti, so you're not losing anything in flavour. The only thing what you're doing is just gaining health benefits by, by actually doing this, this switch and saving the planet a little bit. You've just recycled that car jet, which was due to go into the bin, which really doesn't help the planet at all. So, there we go. So, until next time, thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, then please like and share. I say give it a go, let us know, you can either email in or just leave a comment on the video. So until next time, you take care and we will see you soon. If you have enjoyed this video, then please provide your support by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, then please like and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thank you for viewing.